Today, I'm gonna to show you how to regulate a balance wheel clock. These are clock movements that don't have a typical pendulum. And if you haven't checked out my video titled How to Regulate Pendulum Clocks, I encourage you to watch it. Link is in description. We're going to look at two different movements today and I'll show you how to regulate them. This first one is from an Art Deco mantle clock. I love the hands on this. This one is the easier of the two. As you can see, there's no pendulum. You can see the balance wheel and there's a long lever here, which is used to regulate the timekeeping. You can see letters stamped in on either side, S and F. This stands for slow and fast. And then R and A. This means the same thing, but it stands for retard and advance. So if your clock is running a few minutes fast, then move the lever to the left towards the S or the R. But if it's running too slow, move it to the right. After you make this adjustment, set the time and let it run for at least 24 hours and see where you're at. Be sure to let your chimes finish their sequences uh, as you set the time. Now, moving on. The next clock movement we're going to look at is from this New England wall clock. This belongs to a relative of mine and it's gaining a few minutes, so we're going to adjust it. It has stopped, which is good, because the regulation is on the balance wheel itself. This is a Hermley Westminster chime movement. The balance wheel assembly does come out. There's two screws here and it can be removed, but you don't need to do that unless you're replacing it. These are very fragile, uh, these little hair springs that are in here, and you just wanna be uh, careful when you work on these. According to the instructions, you'll want to move the lever either back towards the movement or towards you, depending on its location. Uh, here's a picture of the instructions. Now I'm going to move it towards me to slow it down. I'm only moving it a tiny bit. And you can see there's some markers in the edge of the wheel to kind of let you get an idea of the position and how much you're moving it. So you can use a small screwdriver to do this. I'm using a plastic uh, pick. If you accidentally get this reversed and it's doing the opposite of what you want, it's no big deal. Um, you can just move it the opposite way. Next, we'll want to wind the clock and set the time. If it starts chiming while you are winding it, stop. Let it finish its chime sequence and then continue to wind. Like the first example, let it run at least 24 hours before making further adjustments. I hope this video helps you. Be sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more videos about clocks and thank you for watching.